2.2, subsets and Venn diagrams. A Venn diagram, I showed you one on the very first lesson in 2.1. A Venn diagram helps you visualize the relationship between sets. So for a set, you will show it as a circle. And the universal set will be that large rectangle. And if there's an overlap in the circles, that means that there are elements in common. We have a set A that consists of the numbers 1, 2, and 3, and the universe, which consists of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we'd like to represent it using this Venn diagram. The first thing that I would like to do is put, is put the U in the top left corner. And you can write out what U is, but we really just need the U there to signify the universe. And then we can put the letter A either above or just inside of the circle. And for now, I'll just put it above the circle, but it should be nearby the circle. And I know then that I have 1, 2, and 3 in my, in my A circle, so I can just put them wherever I like. 1, 2, and 3. And I know I have other elements in my, in my universe that are not in set A, so I come outside of set A, outside of that circle, and I'll put those other elements. So 4, 5, it doesn't matter where I put them, 6, 7, 8, 9. They don't have to be in any particular order, but they should all be there. So now I can double check. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's 9, and there's 10. So there's our first Venn diagram.